that is larger than life. It is called... Texas High School Football. Only one show can bring the greatest sport from the greatest state into focus. Lone Star Gridiron. So the story in that first half was special teams. I mean, the, the punting, you had a partially blocked punt on the first one, blocked the second one, right. but then you had one go over your head. And it's kind of seemed like those special teams played a pivotal role there. Yeah, it, it was. That was one of the things I told the kids, man. We, we've got to beat them in special teams. Um, they had a real good kickoff return group, punt return group, and, um, you know, that was kind of scary. They broke a few kickoff returns that got to the second level, but it was, that's a big part of that game always. They come all the way back to tie it after you started so well, but you did stop them on that goal line staying right before halftime. So where were you all going into, into, the, into the break, do you think, and mentally? I think mentally, you know, that second quarter we kind of let down on defense. And I don't think it, we made a few tweaks, but it wasn't scheme. It was just a kid stepping up and playing, and that's what they did the second half. How good was Upshaw? Really the whole team running the ball, but especially him in that second half. You all came out really big, really. big. Him and Cobra just did a number on the second half. And then, how, how, where's, how big is this win? Obviously, I know it's always a big one, but especially with the district championship implications well, I mean, that's this year. Basically, what it is: district champion, you know, first seed playoffs, the whole nine yards. So, and around here, of course, you got to beat Deer Park or Deer, Deer Park's got to beat us. You know, it's one of those games. What about the way the defense? Maybe you kind of got a handle on their number five running back a little bit more in that second half too. Yeah, and like, like I said, we didn't tweak a whole lot. I think it was just the kids stepping up and playing. You know. All right, Coach, thanks. Congratulations, Coach, on the great game. What happened? Uh, during, like, middle of the third quarter, they ripped my jersey, like, all the way. The whole right side was completely off. And I was just hanging on barely. So we had uh, – one of our coaches had to go in and give me a new jersey. The only one they had was 81 and, and uh, 55, so 81's all right. Did you feel any different with a different, different no, number? No. <laughs> you scored a touchdown. Yeah, I did. I talk about the way y'all came out in that second half and then really drove, I think, the first four runs and to start the third quarter, all 10-plus yards. I mean, really came out running the ball well. Yeah, we lost some momentum going into halftime, so it was important for us to come out and be strong on our opening drive, and we, we did what we had to do on the opening drive. How big is this win? Obviously, a border battle, it's a big one for you guys, I know. It's huge, man. We, we just hit the three-peat. We hit a, we hit a three years in a row. It's huge. Also, how, how important was this win in the, in the district standings as far as hopefully winning a district championship? Uh, this is a major step towards winning the district championship. To win the district championship, you got to win out. So hopefully we'll do it. We just got to finish these last two games off. Definitely good luck, man. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Appreciate it. LoneStarGridiron.com. Access the complete history of Texas high school football, over 100 years of information, win-loss records, coaching histories, individual stats, records, and more. Lone Star Gridiron, the authority on Texas high school football.